Douglas, can I get your take on something? Of course. Harvey agreed that we need a new senior partner to offset the Jessica situation. But? But he wanted to be the one to handle it because he's a lawyer and I'm not. The thing is, I just found out that a rock star from Williams and Connolly is on the market. He's in town meeting with Scadden tonight. Don, if that's true, then you need to go after him. I just told you he wants to be the one to do it because I'm not a lawyer. So I was thinking if it came from you... Donna, that's bullshit. If you can't set up a simple interview, then why did he promote you in the first place? You're right, Lewis. Thanks. Harvey, we need to talk. Donna, I already told you I didn't want to discuss anything about last night. And I heard you loud and clear. I'm talking about the senior partner issue. And I said I didn't want to talk about that with you either. Well, too bad. You're going to. Look, I know you have your reasons for cutting me out of the process, but while we're waiting for you to do something, we're losing out on candidates. We're not losing anything. No one's going anywhere in the next day. Kyle Clemente is. Who the hell is Kyle Clemente? He's a top partner at Williams and Connolly, and he's about to take an offer from Scadden. And before you say no, Lewis was the one who told me to set up the interview in the first place. And? He's in the conference room right now. You gotta be kidding me. Here's how I see this, Harvey. Either we go in there and we interview a legitimate candidate, or we go right now and we talk about what you don't want to talk about. Because I'm not letting it get in the way of me doing my job for another minute. Okay, Donna. Let's get this over with. I respect her. Kyle Clemente. Nice to meet you, Kyle. Donna says you got an offer from Scadden. It's not official, but I am expecting one. But you are leaving your firm. Yes, of course. I'm not happy in DC, so I'd, I'd hate to think that you love your firm and are committed to them, and Donna here just set up the meeting to tease you away. Oh, Harvey. Let me answer the question, Don. I wouldn't be taking this meeting if I wasn't looking for something more. Great. Then you should know you'd be coming in at senior partner level. Not so fast, Donna. You'll have to forgive my colleague, Kyle. Sometimes she can be a little impulsive. You are saying I wouldn't be coming in at senior partner level? I'm saying that we've got a good thing going with our partnership here, and I'd hate to mess it up with the wrong kind of person. And what kind of person is that? I think what Harvey's trying to say is sometimes he can't handle it when someone puts their own needs above his own, and he wants to make sure you won't do that. Oh, is that what I can't handle? I'm sorry, I thought I was here for a senior partner position. But if I'm not going to be pursuing my own agenda, then what the hell am I doing here? Excellent question, Kyle. Harvey? I'll tell you what you're doing, Kyle. You're going to take that offer from Scadden because the truth is, I don't think we're actually looking for anyone at all. I don't think I've ever seen you drinking by yourself before. Well, I needed one. Don't tell me you couldn't close Kyle Clemente. It's kind of hard to close someone when Harvey sabotages the interview five minutes in. What? He was pissed off, he didn't want to be there, and he let Kyle know the second he walked in the door. You know what? It's one thing not to take the interview, but to tank it in front of your face? No. Lewis, where are you going? I'm gonna straighten Harvey out. You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm not gonna let him treat you like that. Lewis, something happened between me and Harvey. Oh my God, you slept with him again? No. I kissed him. And he didn't want me to, and we got in a fight. Donna, he's seeing Paula. How could you do that? I don't know, Lewis. I... I'd just been beaten up by Malik, and then Mike said something that got under my skin, and then you came in, and you told me the love of your life was slipping away, and you didn't know if you should say something to her or not. Look, Donna, I'm as romantic as anyone, and I understand saying something, but you kissed him. That's crossing a line. And you told me you slept with Sheila. Because she asked me to, and I couldn't stop myself, and I've been feeling guilty about it ever since. So you think I'm a horrible person? No, of course not. I am saying that you made a mistake, and you did something you shouldn't have done to someone you care about. And as someone who has a lot of experience with things like that, I'm also saying maybe you should just tell me sorry. 